10 under 10. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what happened to the market this past week and then answer some questions that you guys have been asking about uh, which stocks do you think are going to be the next um, short squeeze stocks. And I'll give you guys my opinion. And then also, I do have a list of 10 stocks that are under $10 that I think have a potential of becoming uh, some short squeezers. So I'm going to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, guys, this website that I'm using here is um, highshortinterest.com. I would encourage you to go out there and check it out. Again, this is the site that lists all the stocks that have a high short in, um, interest. So if you see here, the very first one here is GameStop. And we know what happened to GameStop this uh, past week. And then you see uh, AMC. And you know exactly what happened to AMC. And then as you go down the list, you can see that the percentage uh, of their short interest actually decreases. So it's actually ranked in, in, in order of uh, highest uh, short interest. Again, this is uh, the website is highshortinterest.com. Definitely go check them out. So this is where I'm actually doing the research and where I'm pulling out the stocks that I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, in, in a few minutes here. But before we go to my 10 under 10 with the potential of short squeezing, I want to show you guys this is the Reddit uh, group that everybody has been talking about. Because if you hear on CNBC, on uh, on TV, anywhere on the radio, even just down the street, everybody is talking about the Reddit uh, rebellion. This is the group um, that they are referring to. So you can definitely, if you want to be a part of the group, just go out there, um, uh, sign up for Reddit, and you just uh, you know search for Wall Street Bet and click join and and just be part of it. It's free, so you don't have to worry about anything. Right now, they have about seven point two million people in the group. Uh, when I joined, it was like, I think it was like 2.5 million and it's now 7.2 million, which is crazy. I encourage you to, to check out these two uh, websites. So high, um, high short interest stocks .com, as well as the Wall Street bed group on Reddit. So definitely go check them out. But again, this is where I want us to go today. I want to talk about you know, my top 10 under $10 that are a candidate for, you know, a short squeeze. Again, guys, this is my personal take. I'm not giving you guys this as, oh, these guys are going to short squeeze. I'm just saying based on the information that I'm reading and looking at that short squeeze list, this is what I think. Because if you look at all the stocks that actually uh, took off this week, most of them were trading under $10. So if you think about AMC it was trading under $10, um, uh, BlackBerry was trading under $10. Express was trading on the ten dollars, so I mean that's why I'm actually pulling out this list from the list that um, HighShortInterest.com has, and I'm looking at stocks that are trading under ten dollars and just putting it here. So these are my top ten. Again, guys, this is my personal list. So if you are looking at this list and want to make any financial decisions, do that at your own risk. I don't have any specific inside information to determine which of these stocks is going to squeeze. None of these stocks might even squeeze. So um, just make sure that I put that out there. The first one is Clovis Oncology. And this one is a, a biotech company. And right now, about 42% of this uh, uh, company float is actually shorted. So that's why I have it on the list here. So second one here is Sensonic. And this particular one, about 34% of the float is actually shorted. And this one is also a medical technology company. So again, go out and just read about the company so that you have a better idea. Uh, the, the third one that I have here on the list is VBI vaccines. So it developed vaccines for adult children and newborns and 20% of the float is short. So that's why I have it on the list. And then obviously, uh, Nikkei brand. Nikkei brand says uh, intimate swimwear and apparel. Again, most people got this confused because they said Nikkei brand. People were thinking it was uh, the, the, the Jews 
uh, brand. That's not the naked uh, one that we're talking about here. This is actually to sell like underwears and stuff like that. So you can definitely Google them and check them out. So the 3% of their float is currently shorted. So that's why I have it on the list. And then the fourth one on my list here is um, PGEN. 35% of their float is shorted. And then the fourth one is OPK, ticket symbol OPK, 26% of their float is shorted. LCI, that is the next one on the list, 25% of their float is shorted. So ticket symbol DVAX is a biotechnology company that uh, has 24% of their float also um, shorted. The UMC. So UMC is a semiconductor company that makes products for companies like Advanced Micro Devices, so AMD. Uh, and, and so, I mean, just from an investment standpoint, I do like this company, even though uh, right now 21% of their floats are actually shorted. So I, I'm just, I like the company because, I mean, it's working with good companies like, a, like AMD just to supply them. So I like this one. And then last but not the least is ticket symbol TXMD. Uh, this one is also a pharmaceutical company targeting women and 25% of its float is shorted. So they make most of their products women. So let's, let's go back here to high short interest uh, stocks. So the list that I actually have that I showed you guys came from here. So I just pulled that out of here. So based on the short interest and the prices. So that's why I pull here. So that's my top 10. I'm going to be looking um, this coming week. But who knows? I mean, GameStop can still continue to make the move because again, if you go back into this um, Wall Street bet on Reddit, it's most people they are still saying they're not selling. Their revolution continues. So if you see here, I'm just reading here. Somebody says they still have 50 shares and they're not selling. So they're holding it. Um, this is as just as a slap on the face to people on Wall Street. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> The memes on this website are, are just hilarious. There we go, guys. That is, um, you know, just to kind of recap here, this is where I actually got the list high, um, shortinterest.com, and also Wall Street Bets. Um, that is the Reddit that you can go check. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my list. And again, guys, I don't have any magical um, information or inside info as to how I came up with that list. Pretty much, like I said, um, it's just from this list based on the float and the price of the stock. So it's 10 under 10 with the potential of a short squeeze. So that's how I got the list. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Um, do you have some AMC or uh, GameStop stocks? Did you trade this past week? If yes, are you holding, are you selling? Let me know in the conversation uh, below. And as always guys, always do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated. Uh -huh.